What's up interwebs, it's Mr. Studio Girl here coming at you with another tutorial video to help you keep from coming just like Mr. Nuki Pants here. You do not want a nuke to a teleporter right in that teleporter hole. Booyah! Ouches! And here he is, Mr. Nemecus Commander. That is what he is. He is getting Blue Hawk missiles right to the face, and nobody likes that. So this video is going to help you keep from becoming that guy. And just a few more volleys, and here it goes. Boom! There he goes. We're going to help you keep from becoming that smoking crater. We're going to be talking about the mods today. All right, here we are to talk about the Planetary Annihilation Mod Manager. I don't see too many videos on the Mod Manager or the Essential Mods in general, so I feel the community really needs this. So here we are in the Uber Entertainment Forums. We are looking at this thread by this gentleman right here, or lady, excuse me if you are. And th this is trying to walk you through the installation. So right here you could install for Windows, OS, slash X, or Linux. So let's just click on this one, and it'll take you to GitHub, GitHub, excuse me, where you could just click on this button here to download BAMM.MSI. It is pretty much safe, so check that out. So continuing on, let's take a look at the Planetary Annihilation Mod Manager. Right here we have the news section. It talks about updates. You know, the anchor button has been updated, so that's pretty cool. Commander HUD has been updated. You got all these updates right here. You can check out the forum, or you can just click install right there. And then we're going to go around and take a look at the available mods. So this is kind of complicated. You have lots of things up here. You got filters, so you could click on things that only affect certain things. So you want to look at, you know, like textures, just click on the texture button. Things that affect commander, click on that. And if you want taunts, click on that. So looking through it, we got the hot build. These, of course, are in the UI mods. If you click right here, you get into the server mods. But let's talk about the UI mods a little bit. We got the hot build too. That to me is essential. The anchor buttons. We got some explosion mods. We got your locate commander mods. We got devastated metal biome. We got all sorts of things, biomes. I'm just going to scroll through this really quick so you could just take a quick look. I mean, we got things that Stargate name bug fix. It's kind of funny, but um, it allows you to have your things with Stargate names. That's kind of cool. We got the Auto Factory, the Infinite Build. Pretty cool stuff here. Checking out server mods. We got base wars that only allow you to build mechs outside of your initial spawn area. We got Quailer AI, which makes the AI much better at 1v1. So it says, we have to check out the mod yourself to find out for sure. I would have no doubt that that would make that AI into a nightmare. So, you know, we got a bunch of cool mods. So again, you could go here and you could just click on the filter and you could just look for what you want. I want the GG mod. Let's take a look at that. Oh, cool. Gives me the auto GG button. So every time someone types in GG, it makes the GG sound, which I obviously love if you've watched my other videos. So let's talk about the essential mods. We go into the UI mods. These are the mods that I have. Now I'm going to let you in on a secret here. I'm going to let you know something. This is very important to know. Mods do not mean you're cheating. It just adds a different element to the game and allows things that aren't, are otherwise not available in the game. So here are the essential mods, in my opinion. You've got to have the hot build, too. That allows you to set up hotkeys and use the hotkeys that are already put in hot build, too. It is awesome. Locate Commander. I really like that one. It adds a button 
to the lower part of your screen that allows you to just go right to the commander by pressing that button. That one's pretty neat. You could easily lose your commander. So then you got, let's see, I'm just going through this real quick, the better system view. That is essential because it allows you to see the different planets and the number of metal deposits on there. That is incredibly essential. Then the infinite build, the infinite build mod is by far the most useful mod in my opinion. Because all you got to do is build a plant, uh, build a factory, and you don't have to worry about clicking that infinite build thing there off to the side. It just automatically infinitely builds whatever you have selected. That is awesome. And then we got the reconnect button, which allows you to reconnect to disconnected games. So there, here's some more mods that I really like. The anchor buttons, it allows you to set an anchor, a camera anchor, and it has them up there on the screen, up on top of the screen, because you like anchor one, two, three. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Makes it pretty convenient. And that needs floating flame, flame work. What is wrong with me? Floating framework in order to work. Same, same with Hot Build 2. It needs Blueprint, Info, Framework, and Floating Framework. So that's the reason why I have Floating Framework here and Blueprint Info. Those do some things, probably pretty cool things, but you need to have them. It requires them for the Hot Build 2 and the Anchor button. I also like awesome protect, pro, protectiles, projectiles, because I like cool things firing from my docks. I like the favorite colors. These are all pretty cool. PA stats is fun. System sharing is pretty awesome because you could share building, share systems, you know, planetary systems with each other. That is awesome. I like to see what's going on with Exodus Sports. Show secondary color. And for fun, I got a profile pic. And another cool one is optim optimize user tag map. That makes your connections a lot quicker into games. I think that's pretty cool. So these, there you have it. These are the essential mods. Infinite build for sure. Better system view. The reconnect button. Hot build to Anchor buttons. And um, I think that's about it. These are number one. I would, if you were serious about this game, or even if you're casual and you're sick of losing, get these mods. All right, everyone. Hope you found this useful. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, GG!